Hi, this is Tim. I'm going to go through uh, an example where we have five axis machining and then load this part file using an inadequate license and how to resolve that issue. So let me just create a multi-surface feature first. Actually, no. Let me start by selecting the tangency and then apply a color that's probably more easy this way. Let's give it a nice yellow color. <laughs> and then we can do it again. Multi-surface feature. We will go faces by color. And pick this one. So now I have my color set defined. And I can do a multi-axis mill operation for this one. So I'm going to run this with a, a five axis machine. Let's go for 10 millimeter. And then I'll just edit this multi-axis mill and define the five axis toolpath for it. So the first I'm going to do is go into the axis control and let it use five axis. I want tilt relative to cutting direction, and I have a side tilt of 90 degrees, so I can cut with the side of the milling tool. Then in the pattern type, let's go constant C. Let's go for spiral, and let's blend and close. And we should probably be good. Preview and see what we get. So that is my tool path, and I can just simulate that really quick. And we can see that we are machining in a five axis fashion. Yeah, so that's perfect. Exactly what I'm looking for. Now I'm going to save the file and I don't want to regenerate the tool path because I already did that. So saving this one. And then I could probably go and close the document. From here, I want to go in and define my license. And from in here, I can remove five axis milling, for instance. And I can even remove the four axis milling. So then I can update the license and hit OK. After I have changed the license, I will just restart my SolidWorks session. In this case, I'm using the OEM version. So this is CamWorks Solid 2022, but it's the same as, uh, as SolidWorks. So when I reopen this part file, And go to CamWorks. In most cases, you would see an error message looking like this one. But it could also be that your toolpath is just in this gray color, like it's suppressed. And if you right click and go what's wrong, then you can see that current license does not support this functionality and that the node has been temporarily locked and suppressed. So we cannot really do anything with this five axis toolpath, obviously, as we do not have the license for it. Um, I did have to go in and remove a bit more license uh, for this to work. But now you can see that I don't have a whole lot selected. So if, if I select all and then update licenses, I should bring in all the license required for this to work. And now if I press OK, I can see that now this one became active again. So this is how you can resolve an issue where a toolpath is suppressed and an information that you do not have licensed or a post for it is displayed. Thank you for watching.